Thank you, good girl. You've been so clever. Oh, yes, a good girl. Oh, yes. All right. Yes. 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 A few moments of discomfort for your child and a lifetime of protection in return. That's what immunization is all about. She's very good, aren't you? A good girl. Immunization, or vaccination as many people call it, has always been a controversial subject. Because if they're not vaccinated, then they're going to get all the diseases coming back again. I think any disease is dangerous, really. Why should they get it if there's a prevention? You know, I don't believe in them getting it. I didn't see any really point in going through the trauma of an um, injection of my children. If she wasn't vaccinated, then if, you know, you've got a good chance of her catching something, haven't you? But he's had the polio and he's had the measles. But the only one he has now is the hoofing cough. I've heard uh, a lot on television about, you know, the side effects from the vaccinations, but I do believe in it because I don't think there's more good than harm. You know, the first six months when they go to the clinic, she had that one. Well, I've got four kids, I can't remember though. There's that many of them had injections. But I will have a done, but I don't know about the whole thing off on a bit where it's like that. But I think that's mainly because I've not been briefed well enough about it. I shall go to the, you know, you go to a baby clinic every week. Before I actually have a done, I want a lot more details anyway. But despite controversy, there's little doubt that immunisation has dramatically controlled infectious childhood diseases in the last 20 or 30 years. So what is immunisation and how does it work? Well, we have no natural resistance to certain germs. That is, we can't fight them off without some assistance. This isn't the case when we're first born, because we're protected by antibodies, which are substances transferred to us from our mothers while we're in the womb. This means that for the first three months, babies are safe from infectious disease. But after those first few months, we lose our natural resistance and become vulnerable to all kinds of infections. These are some of the germs that threaten our children. Diphtheria, polio, and whooping cough. Each one of these is a potential killer. In the 1940s and 50s, before immunization began on a large scale, thousands of young children died because they had no protection, no resistance to deadly germs. Epidemic after epidemic swept the country, killing or permanently damaging thousands. Today, our children are fortunate because they have complete protection against major disease. Medical experts now know much more about killer diseases and have developed a form of protection known as immunization, which helps us to fight off certain infectious diseases. What happens is that your child is given a very weakened form of a disease in an injection. It's so weak that in most cases there will be no symptoms. And the body, by being exposed to the weakened germs, builds up resistance to them. Vaccines are manufactured in strict clinical conditions and every precaution is taken to make sure they can't be harmful. But many people still worry about the possible side effects of vaccinations. Yet all research shows that vaccine damage is rare. The chances of a healthy child being harmed by today's vaccines are very slim. We now live in a basically healthy society and the benefits of vaccination far outweigh the dangers. In this country, dangerous infectious diseases are now at an all time low. The main danger to our children is our complacency. If parents decide that immunization is no longer necessary, should it become unpopular, these diseases will return. And it's your children who will be at risk. So when should you have your child immunized? At three months, your baby should be given its first shots against diphtheria, whooping cough, tetanus, and polio. This is repeated at five to six months, which builds up immunity further. And between nine and 11 months, the third dose brings immunity to a peak. Then 
and sometime early in the second year of life, they should be vaccinated against measles. By five, when they're starting school, they'll need a booster for diphtheria, tetanus, and polio. If you have a daughter, she'll need to be vaccinated for rubella sometime between 10 and 13. And also at about 13, both boys and girls may be immunized against tuberculosis, if they are susceptible. I don't think it's up to us to, to deny them the possibility of having it, of having the vaccination, because otherwise I think well, they might go and get something, you don't know, and then everybody gets it, don't they? So remember, it's your child's life that's in danger. Is missing out on immunisation worth the risk? <laughs>